end, does this uh, hamper our national security, our ability to defend ourselves? Does this hurt the United States? Does it help the United States? Is it neutral? No, I think it hurts the United States. I think it pulls back from our nuclear capabilities. It undoubtedly will constrain our uh, national missile defense. The administration doesn't fundamentally believe in national missile defense. And this treaty creates a political construct uh, where the Russians make it almost impossible for them to develop it effectively. So I think the ripple effects of the treaty, in addition to its literal terms, are going to cost us for years to come. Well, so I, I know I've asked you a couple of times to sort of explain liberal thinking on these questions, but you seem to... Well, don't ask me to explain it. <laughs> well, you've been around it a lot. What exactly is the argument against defending yourself by all means necessary? Missile defense is, is by, de it, it, by definition, purely defensive. What would be the argument against that? Because defense is destabilizing. Their argument is we have to be vulnerable to a Russian first strike, and if we have missile defense, it would frustrate the Russians' ability to destroy us. This is what mutual assured destruction is based on. The Russians still think that, that, that way, and uh, they're worried as the offensive capabilities come down, even a small national missile defense capability would be a threat to their first strike, to which I say, hurrah. Well, that is what, what you just described is so grotesque that I, I hope it will live forever on YouTube uh, and will be seen by, by millions because it's deeply That's why revealed. it's called Mutual Assured Destruction or MAD. That's exactly what it is, MAD. It is MAD. Ambassador John Bolton, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Coming up, snowstorms have blanketed, in some cases crushed, the Northeast.